Hi kids! Today we will learn more on division. Let's start! We are starting with a simple example. We have to distribute 284 marbles in 12 children. Then, how many marbles will each child get? Here, we need to divide 284 by 12. Here, 12 is a divisor and 284 is our dividend. We can write them like this. Now, the first digit of dividend is less than the divisor, which is 12. So take the first two digits of dividend, that is 28. Now we have to divide 28 by 12. So find the multiple of 12, which is close to 28. 12 multiplied with 2 is 24. So 24 is the nearest multiple of 12, which is close to 28. So write 2 in the quotient and write 24 below 28. Now, subtract 24 from 28, we get 4. Now bring down the next digit in Devonin. Here it's 4. Now we have to divide 44 by 12. Find the multiple of 12, which is nearest to 44. Also, less than 44. 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. So 36 is the nearest multiple of 12. So write 3 in the quotient and 36 below 44. Subtracting 36 from 44, we get 8. Now we have to divide 8 by 12. But 8 is less than 12, and all the digits in dividend are divided now. No more digit is there to bring down. So, 8 is our remainder, and 23 is our quotient. That is, if we divide 284 marbles in 12 children, each child will get 23 marbles, and 8 marbles will be left. Now, let's learn more on division. We have to divide 400 by 4. Here, the first digit in dividend is equal to divisor, which is 4. 4 multiplies with 1 equals 4. So write 1 in the quotient and write 4 below the first digit of dividend. Now, subtracting 4 from 4. We get 0, so write 0 below 4. Now, the digits left in the dividend are only 0, and in such case where the digit or digits left in dividend are only zeros, we can just append them to the quotient. Like this, and our quotient is 100, and the division is complete. We have divided all the digits of dividend. So, 400 divided by 4 is 100. Let's see more examples like this. We have to divide 360 by 9. We cannot divide first digit of dividend, that is 3 by 9, as it's smaller than other dividend. So, we can divide the next two digits of dividend, that is 36. Now think, which multiple of 9 is closest to 36? 9 multiplied with 4 is 36. So write 36 below 36 and write 4 in the quotient. And now subtract 36 from the first two digits of dividend. We are left with 0. Now, the only number left in the dividend is 0. And in such cases, when the number left in dividend is only 0, we just append it to the quotient. Like this, and our quotient is 40. So, 360 divided by 9 is 40. 
So kids, whenever the number left in dividend is only zero or zeros, we can just append them to the quotient. Now let's learn more on division. Now we have to divide 361 by 4. Now we cannot divide the first digit of dividend, that is 3, as it's smaller than the divider, which is 4. So we will divide the first two digits of dividend, which is 36. 4 multiplied by 9 equals 36. So write 36 below 36. And 9 in the quotient, we got 0 on subtracting. Now bring down the last digit, that is 1. Now here is something we need to understand. We are left with 1, which is less than divisor, but it's a digit from the dividend, which is yet to be divided so. It's not a remainder. We have to divide it with 4. So here what we do is, we find a multiple of 4, which is less than 1. And that is 4 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So write 0 below 1 and 0 in the quotient. Now our quotient is 60 and remainder is 1. Now let's take one more example of this kind. Let's divide 653 by 13. Now we cannot divide first digit of dividend, so we will divide first two digits. Multiple of 13, which is nearest to 65, is 65. 13 multiplied by 5 equals 65. So write 5 in the quotient and 65 below 65. We got 0 on subtracting. Now bring down the last digit, that is 3. Now here is something we need to understand. We are left with 3, which is less than divisor. But it's a digit from the dividend, which is yet to be divided so. It's not a remainder. We have to divide it with 13. So here what we do is, we find a multiple of 13 which is less than 3, and that is 13 multiplied by 0 equals 0. So write 0 in the quotient, and 0 below 3. Now our quotient is 50, and remainder is 3. So kids, now you know how to divide. Now go ahead and take a quiz to practice more. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!